what's going on everybody it's iron texas here with another video for you guys and uh, today we're going to do a video on the uh, opening of another uh, mtb another mystery tackle box i got this one in the mail today and we're going to open it up and we'll see what's in there uh, i must admit that uh, i have been pretty impressed with the last couple of uh, mtbs that um, i've gotten I was really disappointed with the first one I got. It didn't have too many things I liked in there. Um, but uh, ever since that one, um, I've been getting a lot of really, really good uh, stuff in there. Stuff I've been using and uh, some stuff that I've never would have used before. But since it was sent to me, I have used kind of like the BioPro. Um, I never would have bought those, but they sent them to me and uh, they've been working. So I guess it's a pretty good thing to, to have something like this. You know, kind of gives you other options and, and you know some things that you normally wouldn't buy on your own you know you can at least get a sample a sample of it and kind of try it out and see if you're going to want it or not so we'll go ahead and uh, open up this box and uh, we'll see what's uh, sent in this uh mystery tackle box um, for this month so let's get into the uh video We'll get uh, started here. Uh, here we got some, uh, looks like some jigs. Some uh, three quarter ounce swinging rugby jigs. Swinging rugby jigs, three quarter ounce rug. Okay. Um, some little different, has a, has a weighted has a weight on it and uh, it swings the hook swings freely from it uh, brown to brown color pretty heavy pretty big size hook as well uh, seems pretty decent I'm not sure how you would really uh, really would fish this or what you would put on it I'm thinking maybe like a worm or when it hits the ground you know this is swinging so, pretty cool looking Got to figure out how, how I would fish that though, but pretty cool looking. There you go. Next up, we have the Vicious Fishing for the Ultimate Strike, the Shaken PT, 4 inch, 4 pack key line. Um, looks like a trick worm or a finesse worm. It's a nice color. I like the color. Okay. Looks kind of like a worm with a, with a little paddle tail on it. Something a little different from what uh, I'm used to seeing at the store. Uh, probably like a, probably be good for a drop shot. Pretty cool looking lure right there. Gotta figure out how to fish that too. Alright, let's move on here to the next one. Next up we have the uh, bonehead tackle made in the USA now that is something I like not gonna lie uh, if it's made in the USA I might give it a shot and buy it um, I'm a big fan of supporting anything that's made in the USA so this already has my attention it's a nice ring it's called the ringworm it's in the June bug color and I've been throwing a lot of June bug color uh, brush hogs and lizards and have a lot of a lot of luck on them uh, just getting them down deep in the water and letting the fish see them. They make a darker silhouette in the water. So I like the way this one looks. It has uh, like a regular worm head on the, on the tip. And then it has these little rings and it drops down to like a little finesse wavy curly tail on it. it looks pretty nice. I like the way it looks. Um, this is something I'd actually fish like later today or this evening. I like the way that looks. So, this one has my attention not only because of the way it looks, but it's uh, right there in the front. You, you see it, it says made in the USA. I'm a big fan of supporting anything that's made in the USA. Man. Nothing against other countries, like I've said before. It's just, you know, hey, we got to support our, you know, give, give some guys some work. So, there you go. Boom. Next up, we have the uh, Big Bites. Now, I'm a big, big fan of Big Bites. I, I like their products. Um... I really love their cane thumper and their um, 
they're uh, trick stick worms. Um, here, these though, this right here is some uh, pack of crawfish. And Big Bites is another company that's made in the USA, so go and check them out. I know Academy carries them. If you get a chance, check them out. I really like their cane thumper. It's a swim bait, a little paddle tail. Check it out if you ever get a chance. And this is a uh, crawfish. It's a blue color, a deep dark blue with some red uh, flakes in there. I like this. See, I like when I throw my crawfish, I like I don't like them to be really, really big. This is about the size I would use. I like the way this looks, and this is just about the right size to throw on a uh, to throw on a uh, jig head as well. You know, jig, finesse jig or anything like that, jig head, whatever. Nice, nice size for a trailer too. I like the claws flat looks like they'll get a lot of action on the way down big bites man I like that so I'm liking the big bites and I'm liking the uh, bonehead tackle so far so I like the color too I've been having a lot of luck uh, crawfish um, on the blue lately so big ups to that and uh, oh man look at this now this alone right here is worth getting this this MTB. Uh, these uh, live target lures are expensive, man. Uh, I know because I bought one, and this one right here uh, it runs about 17 bucks. So to get one actually thrown into a mystery tackle box is pretty neat. Uh, this right this this lure by itself just paid for this box. So. Big ups to Mystery Tackle Box for putting something like this in there. And uh, what this one is, it's a uh, it's a crankbait, but um, it has it's a 3D uh, type lure. It has uh, it's supposed to mimic a small school of fish. And um, I, I I bought one myself, and it, it, it worked really nice. I was catching crappie on it. I like it. And like I said, uh, this right here just paid for this whole box. So. Like I said, big ups to the Mystery Tackle Box for putting that in there. And uh, this one is like a, looks like a gold shiner color. Looks like a deep diver. Um, I'm not a big, big fan of deep diving lures, but, you know, this right here, you know, still, it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually a thread thin, thread thin shad bait ball in the crank, crank bait. Well, that's pretty cool, man. I like that. So there you go, and I think that's that's it. Oh no no no, there's one more uh, right here. The bait mate fish attractor, and basically this is just uh, a scent to, to put on your plastics or on your uh, it says plastics or live bait, and this says live bass. I'm not sure what the flavor on it is, but lately I've been putting this kind of stuff on my uh, on my plastics. Up and out. So there you go. Bait mate, the bait bog from Live Target, the big bites, crawl. I'll give you the name for it. The big bites swimming crawl. Like those. I want to get out and use those right now. Probably head to the late little pond by the house. And then you have the bonehead tackle. Uh, and these are the ringworm seven inches. Ooh liking that color in the June bug color and then you have your uh, your VMC swinging rugby three-quarter ounce like I said I got to figure out how I'll rig something up and fish it but those look like pretty pretty cool something new something the fish down here I know haven't seen so keep that in mind and then finally the uh, the shaking PT for the four inch shaking PT and uh, like I said, these look like some kind of uh, finesse worm that you would throw on a uh, on a drop shot or something like that. Pretty cool looking. Uh, figure out how, how I'm gonna rig these and fish these. So all in all, out of the this this month uh, mystery tackle box, I'm really impressed. These three lures, these two soft plastics, and this uh, live target. Man, that's pretty cool. So that's the video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. Got a lot of stuff coming up, man. Going to be doing some some fishing. It's summertime, and it's, like, really, really hot. Um, it's getting up in the 90s, almost 100. 
I mean, the heat index, you know, with our humidity here in Houston, you know, it tops like, it feels like 102. But, um, you know, right now it's like 730 and it feels really nice. I got all these trees in my backyard. So it keeps the, it keeps the yard pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the mystery tackle box this month. Um, got some cool stuff in there. Y'all be seeing this stuff here in the next video I make. I'm, I'm gonna use that. And since I already have one of these live targets, um, I might give this away. I'm not sure yet. But um, if I do, I'll make a video and I'll uh, let y'all know. It'll be to one of my subscribers I have now. I'm not gonna do the whole subscribe and you might win. It'll go to somebody who's already subscribed. And um, we'll see. So there you go. Uh, these are really cool. So. I'd be happy if I gra if I got this. We'll see how that goes. I might end up keeping it. I might send it, give it away. So I, I don't know. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. We got some more stuff coming up this this year. Um, got some saltwater videos I'm working on. Uh, took the kids fishing. Uh, we got on a bunch of flounder. I didn't get any video, but um, my brother-in-law wants to go back, and hopefully we'll be able to get on some keeper size flounder. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And y'all know what to do. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Share it. You know, hey, let's get the world fishing, guys. Um, there you go. So, hope y'all hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And I think this mystery tackle box is a pretty good idea. There's another one. I forget what the, what the name of it of it is. And um, I'm thinking of getting on getting that one too and trying it out. See what see and kind of compare them. But I like the mystery tackle box so far. Like I said, I was disappointed with the first one, but they made up with it with the last couple ones they've sent. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines.